Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see examples on operations with limits. So let us take a an example here and we want to find the limit for this particular problem. Limit of the square root of x plus 1 minus 1 divided by x as x approaches 0. So that is the question we have. So if we were to look at the look at the problem, the way we want to solve this for now is as follows. If we were to substitute the value of x equals to 0, both the numerator and the denominator will go to 0. So that is a trivial solution. We are looking for a non-trivial solution and therefore to, to arrive at a non-trivial solution, we're going to rationalize, uh, ra rationalize the, nu uh, the, the numerator part. We're going to rationalize the numerator part. And the way to do that is as follows. I'm going to take the numerator part as step number one. I'm going to take the numerator part, which is square root of x plus 1 minus 1. This is one, one term divided by x. So rationalizing is we're going to uh, we we are going to make sure that we are not going to arrive at a zero solution. We're going to arrive at a uh, at a solution which is other than zero. So we're going to multiply and divide by square root of x plus one plus one divided by square root of x plus 1 plus 1 like that so by dividing if you call if you take the if you look at the numerator and, den and the denominator by dividing and by multiplying and dividing we are not changing the expression no not changing the original expression but by doing that we will be able to rationalize the 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 numerator and and uh, to look at a similarity we know something we know that from the special forms of polynomial we know that a minus b times a plus b we can write this as a squared minus b squared so therefore if we were to look at the numerator parts we have square root of x plus 1 minus 1 times square root of x plus 1 plus 1. So if we consider a as square root of x plus 1 and then b as 1, we can write this one as the square root of x plus 1, this whole thing raised to the power of 2 minus 1 raised to the power of 2. So when we simplify this, square root of x plus 1, the whole thing raised to the power of 2 is going to come out as its base term as x plus 1 and then minus 1 squared is 1 therefore when we simplify this whole thing it can uh, the, the positive one and the negative one cancels out leaving us with x so when we when we use the special forms of polynomials um, to to rationalize the numerator part of our given function that simplify to the value x now we're going to write the second step here and the second step here is as follows we're going to rewrite that uh, as um, x divided by x divided by x times x times square root of x plus 1 plus 1 isn't it so we can simplify it some more there is an x in the numerator there is an x in the denominator so therefore this simplifies to 1 over the square root of x plus 1 plus 1 like that right so now we are ready to apply the limits so therefore step number three the limit of this function 1 divided by square root of x plus 1 plus 1 as x 
approaches zero, we'll see what happens now. So uh, in step number four, in step number four, we're going to uh, write this one out as follows. Since it is a coefficient limit, so we're going to write this one as limit of the constant number one, which is in the numerator, as x approaches zero, divided by the limit of the denominator function, which is square root of x plus one, as x approaches zero, plus the limit of the constant one as x approaches zero. So that is the way we can we can write it out and therefore now we are ready to in step number five we are ready to simplify the math. We're going to substitute the value of x as equal to zero in here. In the numerator part the limit of a constant number is equal to the constant number itself. In the denominator part, the first part of the denominator part we're going to substitute the value of x as equal to 0. So the, the square root of 0 plus 1, that is what we have, plus the second part of the denominator is the limit of a constant number 1 as x approaches 0 is going to be equal to 1. Therefore, when we simplify this math, the numerator part remains as 1. The denominator part, the square root of 1, is 1 plus 1. So 1 divided by 2 is is our let me write this again 1 divided by 2 is what we are left with so therefore this is our this is where we want to leave it so what we have done here is we had a function we had a we had to find the value of this limit the limit of a function square root of x plus 1 minus 1 divided by x as x approach 0 as a first step, we rationalize the numerator part by using the special forms of the polynomial. We simplified the simplified the expression, and then came back and then used the used the operations related to limits. We used the coefficient operation related to limits. We simplified. We applied uh, all the concepts in here, and then we we said as x approaches zero, we applied it to the numerator part. We, as x approach zero, we applied it to the denominator part of the uh, um, of the of the function, and therefore we came up with a uh, a value as equal to one half. So therefore, that is that is where we want to leave it. That is our answer. This is how we perform we solve problems uh, using operations with limits. Thank you for being with me for this presentation.